Okay, let's do our warm ups. And, oh, let's sit to do our warm ups today. Just a little something different. So come into a cross leg position. And of course, you know, we're creatures of habit. So we always cross our legs the same way. So let's start with the opposite way. And just settle into the sitting bones a little behind you. Stack up your spine right above, shoulders back and down. Just relax through that upper body and crown reaching toward the ceiling. Activate your core so it's supporting your spine. And bring your hands onto your knees and just cut the hands around your knees. And then pull your ribs back and round your shoulders forward and look down toward the floor. And then just a little rotation over to the side. Lift your heart as you come to the back. Exhale over to the opposite side and then all the way back to the front. So just a gentle little circle around the ribs. Just breathing, lifting your heart, getting that upper body really moving around a little bit and breathing with it. And then the next time you're forward, just pause and reverse the direction of your circles. So again, lifting your heart as you go to the back rounding to the front and just a few times balancing your body getting an even rotation number going around that direction then again coming to the front just inhale and sit back up and again stack everything for support and then switch your legs around because we like to balance things out and not do any side too much just one way and then we're going to ribs back and crown forward, get a little forward bend going. And then again, lift your heart to the front, look up and a little backward bend with those shoulders back and down. So exhale, sinking forward, inhale and lift. So as you come forward, those ribs go back a little bit more contraction through the abs. And then inhale, chest forward, shoulders and shoulder blades down behind you. And then again, come back upright, bring your hands to your sides, bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder and slide into that side stretch. So just keep facing forward, keep both hips sitting bones down, and just keep reaching out with your head and your fingertips. And this hand on the floor just slides away. And then inhale back to the center. Exhale that hand down. And let's switch the legs again so that we can go the other way. Sitting bones a little behind you. Hands at your side, shoulders down. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling. Arm above your shoulder and slide to the other side. And again, just reach your fingers and your head away. Reach those fingers on the floor, slide them out. And don't forget, keep that back hip down as much as the side you're moving toward. And then inhale back up, exhale your arm, feel the sides a little bit more stimulated. And then we'll do a twist. So arms at your sides, arms out at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, right above your shoulders. Stretch way up. Exhale, turn all the way to the side. So hips, ribs, shoulder turning. Bring your hands down, the one behind you near your body, and the other one on the outside of your knee. Stretch up, nice stretch through the spine so it can move. And then deepen, exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder turning a little further, not just turning your neck. Keep lengthening through the spine, exhaling and relaxing in the twist. And then inhaling, bring your arms back up, turning back to the center and release. Feel that twist energy through your body and switch your legs going to the other way. So again, sitting bones a little behind you, hands at your side, arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling and shoulders down. Hands right above your shoulders and stretch your spine apart. Exhale, turn your whole body to the side, hips, ribs, shoulder facing the side. And then again, hands down, one to the outside of your knee and the other one behind you. Just gently press and lift. Exhale, 
Maybe turn a little further if that feels right for you today. Keep breathing. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, just relax. And then again, inhaling, arms coming back up, turning around to the center and releasing. And again, just take a moment, feel your spine a little bit more activated. And then lift your knees and bring the legs out into staff position. And again, make sure those sitting bones are just a little behind you with the core active and supporting your spine. Shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. Don't forget to breathe. And we'll work the hips a little bit in our usual warm up. So bring that foot up and let the knee come down toward the floor. Outside of that hip rotator, just let it relax. Knee coming down as far as it wants. You can have your hands on the knee, but don't push because that stresses the muscles. We just want to relax and let the knee come down. Knee and toes up on that leg out to the front. And remember, always, you can move it over to the side for a little bit easier pelvic opening, if that helps your body. So again, just let it go. Let it relax. Allow things to happen, never forcing. And then bring the foot up and the knee holding on or wrapping and pulling in a little more for that hip rotator to move. So outside of the hip, getting warmed up, just let it move. As it feels a little easier, if you love that feeling, you can move the leg higher or closer and get a little bit more intensity there, but you don't have to if it feels like that would be more than you need. And again, keep the spine straight, crown reaching up, shoulders relaxing, and then bring that leg back to the center and again into staff position. And of course, Things are unbalanced now, so we need to balance it and do the other side. So bring that other leg up to the thigh and let the knee come down on this side. Again, keep the knee and toes up toward the ceiling, pressing out through the bottom of your foot, up through the crown, core active for support on your spine. Letting that knee just relax down as far as it wants to go today. Doesn't matter where it is, just let it relax. No need to press or pressure. And again, remember, move the leg over if that helps to make it feel a little bit better for your body. Personal practice always. Just let that knee relax, feel the stretch. And when you're ready for that rotator, just bring the leg up, wrap your arms around if that's feeling good today, and move it back and forth, side to side, getting a little bit more warmth in that hip rotator outside of your hip. And again, warm it up a little first. And if you love it, do it a little bit more extreme or not, always personal practice. Breathe and relax. And then bringing that leg back out, coming back into staff position, press out through the heels, bottoms of the feet together, coming into <clears throat> butterfly. So pull the feet in, heels close to your body, knees coming out toward the sides. And again, a little relaxation through the hips, letting those knees get a little heavier. And depending on how tight you are today, you may have those knees way up or closer toward the floor. Or if you're really flexible, all the way down. Always personal practice, remember. And then bring your hands just under your shoulders behind you and a little pressure in your fingertips or the palms if that works for you. And lift your heart, lengthen up through the spine. And as you exhale, maybe those knees will come down a little further or not. It's always your body making that choice for you. Take a breath, <clears throat> really lift the heart, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. And just breathe, lengthening through the whole spine. And then bring the hands back to the front. We're gonna slide those feet out just a little bit and bring your hands under. Put the palms on top of your feet and let the knees come down toward the floor, pressing the legs into your forearms and bring your chest toward your feet. So again, sitting bones behind you, press them way back, reach out through the crown. Keep your spine nice and straight. 
pivot as far as you can from the hips. And then if you want to, you can round your back and bring your forehead down and get a little more stretch on that upper back. But that's personal choice. And again, as you inhale, bring your face forward and rise back up, releasing your hands, lift your knees and come back into staff position. And again, just take a moment, feel your spine a little bit more stretched out and don't forget to relax through your shoulders. And let's go into child's pose. So coming onto your Knees, sinking your hips back toward your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Just get yourself into a good rounded back, giving a nice stretch to your spine again. And bring your knees together for that lower back to get more stretch or apart if you like to breathe more fully. And then inhale and sit up on your heels. Bring your hands to the front and come on up into table position. So just hands under your wrists, under your shoulders, wrists, elbows, and shoulders stacked up, elbows bending toward the sides of your mat and fingertips straight to the front. Spread your fingers. Remember, if the wrists are bothering you, you can fold the mat and make a little bit of a less bendy part for your wrist. And then knees under your hips, feet straight back, and spine nice and straight. So lift those ribs toward your spine, bottom ribs up, getting that low back supported, not sinking. And then if you have a tendency to hunch up through the upper back, just pull your chest down toward your thumbs, and then stretch the head and sitting bones away from each other. And get a nice table position as flat with your back as you can. And we're going to do a little balance practice. So bring your right leg back, lift it up to hip level, and you can flex the foot toes down toward the floor and push out through the heel. And again, make sure that core is activated, supporting your body. And then bring your opposite hand, left arm forward next to your ear. Stretch out through the fingertips. Just keep looking down toward the space on the mat that was between your thumbs. Stretch it out, lengthening, and then bringing your hand back down and your knee back in, back into table. If that stressed and strained your wrist, just circle it, get a little more circulation going there. And of course, we're going to do the other side. So activate that core, get the spine supported, straighten things out as much as you can, and lengthen through the whole body. Bring the left foot out, up to about hip level, flex the foot, see if that feels good going pressing out through that bottom of your foot. And again, <clears throat> opposite hand comes forward, arm right next to your ear with that palm down toward the floor, and stretch fingers and toes away, bottom of your foot away from each other, and hip and sitting bones are reaching away as well. Core active, supporting your spine. <clears throat> and hand to the mat, knee back down. And again, circle that other wrist if you need to. We can sit back hips to heels and circle both wrists. And if you need a little bit more, release through them today. Take a moment there, just breathe and relax. And again, we're going to come pivoting up and into table. So as we're in table position, again, check your positioning, get everything structurally sound so your bones are supporting you and your spine is lengthening. Keep breathing. And we're gonna keep the knee bent this time and just bring the knee up to hip level, out to the side, and again, flex the foot if you want to. So knee and heel and toes, everything as perpendicular as possible. Feel that hip rotator, yeah, it's working it. So don't go too far if you need to keep the knee closer to the floor, that's okay. And then again, pivot that knee back down, get your wrists releasing if you need to, and we'll do the opposite side. 
So again, check your positioning first. Make sure you're supported evenly with both arms and legs. And then with that knee bent on the other side, lift it up, <clears throat> flex the foot. Keep the weight on both hands and that back knee that's still on the floor as evenly as you can. Take a moment, check your positioning, keep it low if you need to, or raise it as high as hip level if that's working on the side for you. And again, everything moving together back to the floor. And once more, we're gonna sink into child's pose, circling those hands either at, at front or you can bring them next to you and just relax. You will stretch across the back of your body. And one more time, we're gonna come back and into our table position. So once more, check your positioning, check your support for your spine, reach the head and the crown away from each other. And we're going to do again, bring that right leg back and lift it up to hip level, flexing the foot. And the left arm forward, opposite arm at ear level, stretching out. And then bend your back knee, a little roll in at the top of the thigh to keep that going straight up with your foot flexed. And then turn your palm toward the ceiling. And we're going to do a little back bend. So just forward, head up, hand and foot up. Only as high as your body wants it to go. Keep breathing, keep those shoulders even, chest facing the front. And then straighten out the leg and the arm, palm toward the floor, and bring your hand down and your knee back to the floor. And again, we're in table position. Check your positioning, move your wrist if you need to, as we get ready to yuck. Do the other side. So bring your left foot back up to hip level. Flex the foot and right arm out next to your ear. Stretch it out and roll in that top of the thigh as you bend your knee and bring that foot straight up. Shoulders towards your waist as you turn the palm toward the ceiling. And then again, lifting your head and your hand and your foot. Push your heart forward, shoulders even toward the floor, hips even toward the floor as well. Just breathe and maximize your back bend if you love it. And then straighten things out, palm toward the floor and bring the hand and the knee back down. Once you're back in table position, one more time, a nice little child's pose coming into your release. Take a breath, just relax those shoulders, release through the hips, lengthen through the spine. Deep breath, exhale in tension. And then as you inhale, let's sit up on the heels. And we're gonna bring the arms overhead, looking up, arms right at shoulder level or shoulder width. Fingertips toward the ceiling, face toward the front. And then as you exhale, bring the hands, back of the hands down toward the floor and pull them back, palms down behind you, shoulders toward the floor. And then sweeping your hands forward, inhaling, bring your hands reaching up toward the sky. And then out to the sides, all the way down next to you and back into your kneeling position. So again, bring the hands next to you and bring them up all the way toward the ceiling, looking up, sweep them forward, push those hips back toward your heels as you come down, sweep the hands back till their palms down, back by your feet. And then again, inhaling, sweep them up, all the way toward the ceiling, looking up, and then hands up, rotating back down to your sides and into your kneeling position. Take a moment, just feel your spine a little bit more stimulated as you do go through that range of motion. Deep breath, just relaxing. 
hammer into three legs out in front to the end of your mat. Activate your core and just roll slowly down onto the floor. Take a moment, recline integration in corpse position. Shoulders down, hands, palms up, feet hip width apart. Just take a moment and breathe. And then pressing your sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, bring those heels in right near your hips, knees straight up. So remember a little roll in at the top of the thighs to make sure your knees aren't spreading apart. Press your back down. And just get connected there through that whole spine. And then just a little activation of that lower back. So sitting bones toward the floor and lifting your ribs, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And press your spine down. Now keep it connected, hands next to you. Now we're going to lift the hips. So bring the hips up, coming onto your shoulders. Keep the back of your head on the floor, not your neck. And then clasp your hands under your hips. Press your hands and arms into the floor. And move a little higher onto your shoulders behind you, lifting your hips straight up. So those knees are right above your heels. And the hips are lifting straight up. The hands and arms and shoulders are pressing into the floor. Take a moment and breathe. And then releasing your hands, palms down, shoulders, shoulder blades, and ribs, and whole spine down. Take a moment as you get all the way down. Check those knees, make sure they're not spreading apart. Feel a little bit more activation through the whole spine and hip area. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing, but this time when you clasp your hands, put the other finger outside. So again, hands start, palms down. Exhale, pressing that back way down. Inhale, hips lifting right there at the top of the thigh at that hip bone, hip joint. Knees not spreading apart, just straight up, press your hands down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way, other finger outside. And again, move up onto your shoulders, lift your hips maybe a little further if that's working for you today. Press into your feet evenly, into your arms, hands, and shoulders, head on the floor, not your neck, and lift the hips. Keep breathing, exhaling tension. And then releasing your hands, palms down, shoulders come down, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine all the way to the floor. Just take a moment, feeling a little bit from that back bend. And then sitting bones toward your heels and bring your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. You can lift your head toward your knees and give yourself a good forward bend to counteract that bridge position we were in. And then head to the floor, hands to the floor and feet down. Stretch your legs out and take a moment to reposition and relax. Bring your arms up overhead. We're gonna do a yoga sit up. So bring your arms straight above your shoulders, lift your whole body leading with your heart and reach the hands toward the ceiling, coming up straight and then reach for your toes and sit back up in staff position. Take a moment there and breathe. And we're just going to do a little twist. So bring one foot up to the inner thigh and the knee out to the side. Keep that other leg straight out. Move those sitting bones around so that they're a little bit behind you and do what's right for your body. And then arms at your sides, arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders and stretch up. Exhale, sink hands to your shoulders, down into your sitting bones. Give a really good stretch up. And as you exhale, turn to that bent knee, bringing your hands to your shoulders. So your whole body is turning, hips, ribs, shoulder, turning toward that knee. Stretch up. And as you exhale, bring that front hand to your knee, back of the hand to the knee, and the other hand near your body on the floor. Stretch from your sitting bones up. 
exhale. And again, turning hips, ribs, and shoulder coming around. This back hip can come up off the floor just a little bit as you move into the twist deeper, if you love a twist. And again, lengthen up, breathing. Exhaling, deepening, looking as far behind you as you want. And then again, lengthen really good through your spine. Exhale, turn your head only and look toward that front foot. So a little twisty twist. And again, lift the crown, exhale, and turn your head back to look behind you again. Lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, release both arms and turn back to the center. Lift your knee and come back into staff position. Feel everything kind of adjusted in that twist energy and through the hips. And of course, we're going to balance and do it to the other side. So bringing the other foot up to the inner thigh, getting situated so you're comfortable with those sitting bones slightly behind you. This knee and toes are up toward the ceiling and your hands are at your sides. Shoulders and shoulder blades down and back, core activated and arms out. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, sink way down, hands to your shoulders and sinking into the sitting bones. Stretch your spine, stretch your arms up. And as you exhale, turn to that knee. Stretch up as you breathe in. And as you exhale, the back of the hand comes to the knee that you're turned toward the other hand behind you on the floor. Again, stretch from your sitting bones up. Exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder turning deeper into your twist. Looking as far toward the back of you as you want. Again, keep lengthening that spine so it's got room to twist. Exhaling, deepening, looking a little further behind you if you love it. And remember, personal practice only what's right for your body. And then again, lengthening the spine, we're going to turn the head, bringing the chin around to that front shoulder, looking at that foot that's still out in front of you. Take a breath, lengthening. Exhale, turn the head back, looking behind you. And again, lengthen up as you breathe, bring those arms up, exhaling, turning back to the center, releasing your arms, bring the leg up and out and back into staff position. Feel the hips, the core, the spine, all that activated twist energy may be moving up into your meditative center as we get ready for our final relaxation. So sitting bones behind you, knees and toes straight up, core active and supporting you as you just roll again, slowly onto the floor. Hands, palms up, shoulders down, let your belly soften and sink. Release any tension in your hips and legs. Feet just softened. Toes up toward the ceiling or slightly apart. Hands, palms up, shoulders down. Move your head around, get that neck releasing, not pressing down. Just let the back of your head and shoulders support you. And exhale, let your body grow heavy. Just allow it to sink into that support beneath you. And release any tension left in your muscles. So lots of work through the spine, the torso, the hips today. So just scan that area. Exhaling and releasing any tension. As your body relaxes, just deepen into that earth embrace. And allow your mind to release thoughts of your body. Just let it relax completely. As you breathe deeply, just let your mind drift. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. So let the content of your thoughts go. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no thought worth remembering. Just let it drift away. And as your body sinks deep into the earth, and your mind floats freely on that air, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Just sink into that depth of connection to the earth. Free your mind of any thoughts. 
And let your awareness focus on that peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind. Peace. Breath. Release. And of course, if you have time to keep relaxing today, just take as much opportunity to release and relax as you have time. If it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, draw energy and awareness back to the breath, to the mind, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today, and breathing in. Stretching more fully as you become ready. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, pressing the back down, draw those heels toward your hips and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that good appreciative yoga hug for the work your body does in yoga for you and the work your body does for you every day. And as you breathe and relax and release and then stretch and hug, just finish your appreciation whenever you're ready. Bring your feet to the floor, rolling to the side, and sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.